Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm calling this one Applying Thresholds to Key Metrics. I don't really know a good name for it, so if you've got a better idea for a title, please leave it in the comments. I'm just not sure how to capture it. It's a really important topic though. We assume you have a dashboard and you've got some key metrics here, total number of orders, total number of customers, total number of sales. And you've got a category, subcategory, customer name, number of orders, number of customers, and sales. And what you want to do is you scroll down here, you can see that some of these have two orders, some of them, a lot of them have zero or one. And what you want to do is to filter out all of the customers with only one order, or two orders, or three orders. You want to make that a parameter. So let's come to this table. I'm going to come to this little go to sheet icon. And we're going to create a couple things here. We're going to first create a parameter. And I apologize it's so small, but we're going to call this minimum orders, number of orders. And we're going to change this instead of a float with decimals, we're going to make this an integer. It's a whole number. Current value is one, display formats automatic. We're going to make this a range. We're going to say the lowest it can be is 1, and the maximum we're just going to say is 10. I don't think they have that many, but just so it's easy to, to manage. All right, so we have the number of orders. Now what we're going to do, this is a fixed function, and we're going to call this meets the threshold. Apologize if I didn't spell that right. All right, so we, we know a couple things. We want something to be greater than the minimum number of orders, right? We want the customer, the number of orders for a particular customer. So how are we going to do that? What we're going to do is we're going to use the fixed function, function. And so we use the curly brackets whenever we do a fixed function. Type in fixed. And now um, what we want it to do is we want it to recognize the category. We also want it to recognize the subcategory. And we also want it to recognize the customer name. And what that means is usually fixed says ignore all the filters that you have visible and just do this operation. And I apologize, I don't know what, what happened there. It's like going all crazy on me. And so we're going to do count D for count distinct order IDs. And if you've played with this uh, Superstore data long enough, you understand that each item purchased shows up in the data. So you could have, if you bought four items on an order, your order ID would show up four times. This count D says, only count that one. Only count each distinct order ID. So this formula here is saying, normally it would say, ignore all the filters you've got applied and just do this operation, count D for the order ID. But what we want is we want it to recognize the category because that's in the that's in the visual, in the partition I think. The subcategory, that's also something we're going to filter on. We also want it to recognize the customer name. If we don't have the customer name, it's just going to calculate the value at the category and subcategory level. So we're saying identify how many orders there are for this customer, this subcategory, and this category, and if it's greater than or equal to the minimum number of orders, it's going to register as true, or if it's not, it's going to be false. So we hit OK. We've got this little TF, it's a Boolean. I'm just going to bring that up over, select true because we've only got one. Everything is set to one right now. Then we're also going to apply this to the other KPIs. So we're coming, open this up, apply to worksheets, select worksheets, and we've got a lot of stuff in here. We're going to apply it to the KPI customers, KPI orders, and sales. Hit OK. Now when I come 
to this dashboard. We want to, under analysis, under parameters, we're going to say we want the minimum number of orders. And so now that gives us the minimum number of orders. Or we can, well, let's move it up to, to two. So now the, the table has refreshed. And you see that the number of orders, 3610, and the number of customers, 701, and the number of sales is 1.1 million because there's that K. And as you scroll down, you'll see that all you have, there's no ones in there. So similarly, if you go to, let's go to four. So you've got fewer customers, fewer orders, fewer sales. And so you can see you got some five in there and some sixes. And you can continue to do that. So you have to create a parameter, a boolean function. There's some variations to that, but this is what we used here is a boolean function. And then we have to have that filter apply to these other key metrics. Why this is important or why this is so good is that you can't just filter on the number of orders here because if when we come to the customer orders, we don't have the customer name. We don't have the order ID listed. And so that would be hard to reference it, and so that's how we're doing it. We're doing it with a fixed function. Enjoy. Hope this helps. Please subscribe, leave comments, and if you have a good title idea, please leave that as well. Thanks a lot.